Hello, good morning and good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Visa and Tutorial Part 2. In my last video, I just gave on some introduction about the visa and uh, what exactly the visa and the cluster they are. So in this video, I would like to share something about uh, visa and storage space, how the storage happens for the visa and clusters. And uh, we, I will be showing you a uh, different cluster creations for all these types that is for ASDS, KSDS, RRDS and LDS. As we know that ESDS stands for entry sequential data sets and the KSDS stands for key sequential data sets and RRDS stands for really due record data sets and LDS stands for linear data sets. Okay. So let's look into the VZAM storage space that which is our first topic. So as we know that VZAM file consists of three components that is name name component, data component, and index component. So ESDS, RRDS, and LDS clusters has only a name and data components. But KSDS has all these three components. That is name, data, and index. So how the data is stored in VZAM? VZAM storage space is divided as follows. That is, first it will have a control area and then we'll have control uh, the if the control area is divided then we we call it as a control area split and then it will have a control interval so in this control interval it will have uh, three different file fields that is ridf data record and free space let's see into the details what exactly they are now you can understand control area control area to control area splits control interval and control interval is further divided into ridf data record and free space so storage space is divided into control area control creating a new control area is nothing but a control area split each control area is further divided divided into control interval by default the control interval size is 4096 so each control interval is further divided into uh, ridf which we called as record identifier feed and next is data record and then is free space which is used for further usage so important note here so ridf is used to store the address of a record whereas the data is used to store the actual data into this it stores the address and data stores the actual data free space is used for the future purpose it stores the 20 percent of uh, counter interval size okay let's see the figure so how it happens so as I said, control interval size is, you can, uh, let us consider this whole entire box area as a VZAM for cluster. So how the data stores internally. As I said, control interval size is 4096 here. So initially th there will be a control area. Control area is divided into a set of control intervals and each control interval is divided into RIDF, data field and the free space. So control interval uh, will store the address that is, uh, you can as, as I said here, stored space is divided into this and the record identifier feed important store the address of that particular your data record, right? So it stores the address of your data record and the free space is for 20% of the uh, the control interval size. It is 20% of the control interval size, which is used for further further other things if they if, if the data I mean if it if the, if the data gets filled it will uh, it will be get you stored here so control area is divided into control intervals and control intervals for the divided into row IDF I mean uh, record identifier and data and free space that's it this is the internal structure of the visa storage space okay so now let's create a simple clusters. All VZAM dataset clusters are created by using IDCAMS utility and uh, we will be defining the properties of clusters and using Cisnity star. Let's look at the simple simple ESDS cluster. So here it is. You will have a job card, then you have an activity. You will be using an IBM software utility that is ID IDCAMS. So you these are the properties you need to define. You it is defined with a defined keyword and you will be cluster and the name of the cluster, any uh, data set name. So I'm clicking it as TSO test one, ESDS, and it will have data, data field, so data. So give the cylinder, record size, control interval size. By default it is four zero nine six. Even if you don't give it will be taking us four zero nine six free space eighty or twenty percent of the control interval size eight hundred and uh, indexed. Since it is a non-indexed, so yes, this is a non-indexed. It won't have any key, so we need to specify it's a non-indexed. So coming to the KSDS, 
going to KSD here, so that the same way you will be having a job card activity that is uh, we use IBM supply utility ID cans so define cluster name name of the cluster and the data data component and uh, cylinder and we have extra component like index component as I said except uh, uh, the KSD is uh, the only cluster which uses uh, all three these all these three components that is name data and index components okay so here since it is having an index component we need to keep a specify a key that uh, key value so based on I'm giving a key uh, the starting at 10th and the its length is 20 so in the same way control interval size pre spice since it is having an index component so you need to have an index coded here so let us see the simple example for RRDS so name data cylinder record size controller size numbered since RRDS is the numbered so we give it as a numbered everything remains same same like an RRD uh, ESDS except it instead of non index it should be numbered okay let us also see an a simple LDS cluster so it also looks same like uh, I have to give it here as LDS so it would be better so that it can be understand good so the data component same and you should give it as numbered right so these are the different ways of a cluster sorry it should be a linear since I just copied from there so 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 these are the different things we need uh, different ways of creating a cluster that are four different kinds of cluster so the main uh, the key point over it here is the this point so whenever you code a, uh, whenever you want a LDS cluster the components will be same except the linear so for uh, for RRDS it should be numbered and for KSDS since it is has the index component you should maintain make it as indexed and uh, this thing so in KSDS whenever you store the data data is automatically uh, so in a sorted order and the same way ASDS it should, should use non index right so these are the different uh, uh, different clusters we create in real time but mostly we use KSDS since we use mostly we wanted the data to be sorted by default and it should have some key and everything so we use mostly use the KSDS and depends it depends on the things and depends on the requirement depends upon the programmer decision so someone might be using ESDS, RRDS and LDS so mostly KSDS and uh, ESDS are used in real time so these are the different clusters uh, note very important note is a uh, uh, ESDS is equivalent to an a sequential file and KSDS is equivalent to an indexed file and RRDS is equivalent to an a relative file and in the same way LDS is equal to equivalent to an a uh, line sequential file so so that's it for that's all for this today's video so just to recap we have discussed about how to how the VSAM storage happens and uh, uh, different ways of creating uh, clusters so thank you for watching with this video if you like this video kindly please share subscribe or comment on my youtube channel so if, to get an regular updates on my posting videos just kindly please subscribe me on youtube thank you for watching have a great and pleasurable day